Number second at Michigan. Coach, we'll open it up with a opening statement about uh, being here in the season ahead, and then we'll take some questions. How's everybody doing? Uh, it's great to be back at uh, Media Days in person uh, again. So, uh, you know, this time of the year, everybody's, uh, you know, ramping up and getting excited. Uh, preseason or summer, summer workouts are done, and everybody's ready for preseason camp. And, uh, you know, everybody's, you know, writing their stories and making their projections and uh, predictions and uh, talking about the opener. And it's just an exciting time of the year. So uh, it's great to be back uh, together and uh, representing East Carolina University. And uh, it's an exciting time for the American Conference uh, with our six new members coming in. Uh, it's going to create some, uh, some new matchups, some new rivalries. Uh, and I know all the all the coaches in the league are excited about that. But uh, you know, here as we start, uh, you know, for me and uh, our staff, year five at uh, East Carolina, uh, just really pleased with where the program is right now. Uh, excited about this group uh, this fall. Uh, excited about uh, the dedication and commitment that they've shown during the off season. Um, I know there's a lot of documentation about who is uh, you know in the NFL and uh, who we lost last year, and that, I've heard a lot of that this summer. But uh, I'm really excited about who we have returning. Uh, a lot of players have been waiting their time. Uh, a lot of players have been uh, doing it out there. Uh, and now they've, they're, they're thrust into a bigger role. So, but uh, you know, as we stand here today, uh, I'm, I'm excited, as excited about uh, the program and this season as I ever have been any. And so uh, be ready to get started. Uh, we open up uh, with uh, report date next Tuesday. Uh, first practice will be next Wednesday. And then obviously, uh, you know, have a pretty challenging opener September 2nd up in Ann Arbor against uh, what is going to be one of the top, uh, you know, one or two teams in the country this year preseason-wise. So uh, big matchup to uh, start us off with, uh, come back home uh, with a challenging home opener against a very good Marshall Thundering Herd team coming off a nine-win season. Uh, and then a, a trip up to Boone to play uh, in-state rival Appalachian State. So, you know, pretty pretty challenging start to the season, but uh, also very excited about that because, you know, we're going to find out a lot about ourselves. That's what I've been, you know, talking to the players about. You know, just find out really who we are uh, early in the season. So uh, just can't wait to get started. Questions? If you have a question, please raise your hand. We'll get the mic to you. Right there up in the front. Hi, Coach. Zach Barnett with Football Scoop. Um, a lot of talk about everything that's going wrong in college football right now. In your opinion, what's, got, what's going right in this sport and maybe what's something that's gotten better over the last three, four, five years? Well, I mean, I think still the thing that's going right is, you know, those two young men that uh, you guys are going to have a chance to talk to uh, in the other room, Shane Calhoun and Jeremy Lewis. You know, they've been in our program for uh, three and four years, respectively, and uh, they've They've grown tremendously. I'm just proud of the young men that they are. And so uh, still to this day, you know, the greatest thing about uh, college football to me is just the development of the young men uh, in our program. And uh, just really pleased with uh, not only those two, but uh, all the guys back in Greenville also. And it's, it's the reason I love my job. And it's, uh, it's why I don't consider it a job is I get a chance every day to go spend, uh, spend my day with them. And uh, I'm better for it, and, and hopefully we're making their lives better for it. So uh, that's, that's probably, to me, still the biggest positive of, uh, of, of college football. That's all right. Uh, Mitch Lucas, I'm from the footballbeat.com and from the Kilgore News Herald paper. Um, thank you for uh, coming out to Media Days and thank you for bringing the guys with us. Um, I know um, everybody has, uh, I don't want to ask you to tip your hand, but if you could uh, maybe talk about a couple of personnel that, that we don't have here, uh, just somebody that you know is going to have an impact on your season and you don't have to cut it to one player. Maybe just right. mention a couple of names that you know that uh, and you can go special teams too, just anybody that you think is going to have a, a, a – somebody that we know that you know that's going to have an impact on your right. season. Well, I mean, I think you, you got to start with our running back room. Uh, you know, Rajay Harris was first team all-conference in 2020. Uh, he did have a, a pretty tough injury last year, but he's fully recovered. Uh, had, a, had a great off season. Uh, he and Marlon Gunn are two very experienced backs returning uh, that have, you know, 
Marlin played a lot for us last year after Rajay went down. So, you know, those two guys are pretty proven commodities in this league. And so I expect those two to have, you know, very solid years for us. Jalen Johnson had a solid year for us last year in spite of missing some time. Uh, he did battle some injuries around midseason and still put up really solid numbers. Uh, he's healthy uh, and, you know, has worked very hard this offseason. So expect him, you know, to have a very productive year this year. Same thing for Josai Hatfield who has had some of the biggest moments uh, in Pirate history. I mean, he's had, some, he's had the, the touchdown against South Carolina in 21 to start the game. Uh, you know, he's, he's had so many plays like that. Had a huge game down at SMU in 19. So a very experienced, explosive guy right there. Uh, on the defensive side of the ball, uh, Julius Wood, uh, I don't know how he didn't make all conference last year. I think he's one of the best safeties in the league. Uh, he's had a great off season. Uh, just really excited about uh, he and Tegan returning there at the safety position. Um, and in our, our defensive front, you know, we return you know, virtually everybody up front. And uh, it's a solid bunch. They've all been playing for three years. Uh, I talk about them as a group because you know, that's kind of how we view them. And, uh, and they're, they're all just solid core players. But uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm excited about uh, a lot more than just those guys. But those are a few that have already you know, proven themselves in this league. Coach, Jordan Hoffett, it's 24-7 sports. Uh, you mentioned some guys you don't have. When you're replacing a quarterback that has been in the program as long as, as he was and all of that, what goes into that next guy and developing that next guy and getting him ready before this year and then also obviously getting him ready for this year? Well, you know, the positive thing is Mason and Alex have both been there in the same room with Holton his entire time. Uh, Mason did start a game in 2020. Uh, when uh, Holton was out with COVID. Uh, so those guys have been there, been at practice, been getting the reps, been getting the same you know, looks and things like that. You know, the thing you can't replace is the game experience. Uh, and obviously, you know, both those guys are inexperienced when it comes to college uh, snaps. Uh, but you know, they have worked very hard this off season to prepare. They're both playing as, as well as they ever have. Uh, and you know, I've talked a lot about Mason. I mean, Mason's, Mason's ability and the ceiling for him is pretty high. And uh, we're all excited to see him this year and see what he does with that. Uh, we're excited about the pieces around him. I think that's a big factor for him is just the comfort with the players around him. Uh, but it's going to take you know, those, those same things that Holton went through my first couple of years. You know, Mason's got to go through those things from a decision-making process. Now, he's probably more prepared for the beginning than Holton was in that you know, he has been there with Holton through his last three years. Uh, but still, there's no, no replacing experience. Any other questions for Coach? Appreciate it, Coach. OK, thanks a lot. Have a great day.